my Floss Tube friends. It's time for a Mania episode. And that does not ever come out quite right. Mania episode. And we are here for another day of Mania adventures. And today is Wednesday, May the 13th, 2020. And we are here to chat about the project that the wheel chose for me yesterday and the progress that I have acquired on it today. Don't think this will be as long of a video as yesterday. If you did not have a chance to go check out my yesterday's video, I did the uh, Rolodex random tag and that was super fun um, to answer those questions and share a little bit more about myself. So yesterday, the wheel chose Plum Street Samplers, Jack Sweet Shop Shepherd's Pie, and this was a new release this year from Market. Um, and it lives in a book pouch, like a book sleeve style project pouch that I um, took uh, fabric from my local quilt shop and made, and it has a pretty matching batik on the inside. And this is so far stitching it pretty nicely. I am stitching this on a piece of 36 count vintage maple sugar linen from Lakeside Linens. And I am stitching it with um, some of the called for flosses, some conversion, some kind of a mix. Um, if I didn't have it, I picked something close, but there were a couple of the called for that I did in fact acquire if I did not have them already. And I just realized this is maybe gonna be a little bit tricky to see, so I thankfully have a piece of white behind it. And I did a center start and so far I've put about 270 stitches into this and I am working through the sheet that has the quilt motifs. And yesterday I talked about how I was considering using shabby sheep for the sheep. It calls for Classic Colorwork Snowball, which is very similar to B5200. When I sat down to work on this today, I realized, nope, I wanted to do it in the B5200 uh, because there's some little motifs in here and I wanted those to really pop and stand out and I was afraid with the variegation of the shabby sheep that it would not show up. So loving this. I love lakeside linens. I love how this sheep is stitching up so far. It is very large um, but I wanted to go ahead and get started on that since it's right in the center. I do have a little bit planned to stitch on this the remainder of this evening and maybe get a little bit into my linens and threads mystery sampler. I'll kind of show you where I am on that. Um, I worked on this a little bit on Monday night and over the weekend to get a little bit more put in. Um, so I put in some more here. I put in more, I think right here. Um, actually, I think it was this over here, this right here, um, some more up here and then in here. I've got a little bit more, I think up here and over here in the pink azalea gentle arts and then I will be able to do the last color of this release which I'm doing in Victorian pink um, so this is what it will look like completely finished so as you can see I've got the inside of these petals I've got a little bit more right here some dots up here dots up here and then the rest of pink azalea and dots right here but then I'm pretty much, and then a one little motif down here on the bottom flowers. So it stitches up lovely. It's a fun stitch to work on. I would hope that maybe with a little bit more dedicated stitching tonight and maybe a little bit tomorrow night, I might have this release done by my Friday video to show you. Um, I am also working through, I don't have it in here, so I'm not going to show it. You'll see it on my video on Friday. I'm doing 30 minutes of daily stitching on Quilting Bee by the Blue Flower, and I'm getting close to a finish. I am hopeful I can get there by the end of the week. It would be exciting to actually, with all these starts, have some kind of finishes I'm working through. I also sat down and figured out what colors I'm going to do for my made square dance, and I'm really excited about it. It looks very different. It looks fairly different from what heart and hand has charted. So I'm excited about that. And then I think what I'm going to end up doing for my 30 minutes of daily stitching is picking my next oldest project and working through that. And I think that's how I'm going to make myself feel better about some of these projects that are a year or nearly a year old. So 
let's see what gets picked on the wheel. And as you can see, the wheel has been favoring one side. Now, currently it's right here, which are some of the ones that I want to see picked. The problem is it's gonna spin and we don't know if it'll get back there. So let's see what gets picked. I will say, if Quaker de la Ferme gets picked, I'm very happy and pleased to say that the remainder of my Adobe floss came from Color and Cotton today. So I have plenty of floss for that project. Not that I can use up eight yards in a day, but even still, even needles and blaze, I can't do that. All right, let's see what we get. Come on, oh, oh, spring tulips. Okay, here's the deal. I don't have my fabric for spring tulips because I ordered dirty chalkboard or dirty blackboard from a custom order from Be Stitch Me. It's not here, so I'm spinning again, and this one can come up later on. And I don't know how that'll work with the wheel. It may just be my last one. So we're gonna spin again. So that was the first, oops. Cherish all living things, yay! excited about this one. I mean, I'm excited about them all. And this one is currently living in a project sleeve. This used to hold my temperature quilt. And this is Lizzie Kate's Cherish All Living Things. And this one was back from, this one's an older one. I want to say this is back from like 2000. Let me look because I know that the um, copyright's on the chart. Yes, copyright 2000. I think there was at least one of you that was maybe thinking of starting this when I started. So I hope you see this video or see my post on Instagram that I am going to be starting this tomorrow. Ugh, I got a floss in the way. And I, um, so here's a little backstory on this. And if you've watched any of my older videos, which I know some of you are newer and may not have, this was actually slotted to maybe get a start during March Madness, March Stitchy Madness. It did not. Um, Y'all chose something else. I can't remember what it was. Um, but anyway, this is a piece that I started like the year it came out and back in my Lizzie Kate days, early days. And I had started it on this wretched, it's not wretched, but it's not my favorite. It's very stiff. I don't even know what, I think it might've been a Wichelt. I don't know, but it's like maybe a 28 count linen. It's very open, very loose, very stiff. Um, I was stitching it with DMC. I had converted it. I converted back in the day too. Um, and what's funny is my conversion, I wrote an orange pen. Isn't that awesome? And so when I sat to, because at the time I was not stitching with these fancy flosses. I very rarely pulled the fancy flosses because I was like 20 when this came out. Um, I didn't have all those ways and means. Still really, but I just make it work. And so I committed many a stitchy scent. I carried threads. I used, I think this was three strands. I think I've investigated that I had three strands. So very thick and chunky. I also did not know, did not occur to me that when I went up to the, to the next row that I could start in the top corner and come down. And so my stitch would still be the same. So all of my ones where I traveled up the row, my stitch is backwards. Um, and so it, and that was back in the day when I would find center, count down, and I would literally count to the bottom corner. That's how my aunt taught me, and that's how she stitched, and which was perfectly fine. But now I've learned, okay, have the right margins, and either start at the top, start at the bottom, or start in the middle. I am a center starter. I've learned a lot of things since I started this, but I'm not getting rid of this. This is going to be part of the legacy of this project. So, I'm going to grab this out the door. I'm going to be stitching this in most, a lot of the called for and or the DMC. I like the look of the charted. I pulled what I could. I also then swapped in some others that, um, if I didn't have the called for, I swapped in something close. I have this tentatively set to be on this 18 count, like butter yellow, really light. It's very similar to the original, light lemony yellow. It's even lighter than from Mystic Fabrics, this was in a grab bag. It's 18 count Ada. This originally called for House Blend, Blend Light Cappuccino, 32 count using two ply, um, but it looks very yellow in the picture. And this is one of the old Lizzie Cates that actually has like a four by six picture attached to it. I am tempted to go here in a minute and look and see if I really wanna do this on yellow or if I'd rather pull something more neutral. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but 
I'm excited for this one tomorrow. And I love Lizzie Kate's and they usually stitch up very sweetly and nicely. This one I did actually mark the chart. Now granted, I think I only marked the bottom, the bottom water. I don't even think I marked the grass that I had stitched. So we're good with that and I can work around that. And I will probably do a center start on this. I don't know. I might start top and start with Cherish and these cute little bumblebees. I don't know, we'll see when I get to it tomorrow and we'll see if I ended up swapping my fabric. I might, I might, I might. Anywho, really don't have much else for you. This one's gonna be much shorter than, than um, yesterday's. And I appreciate all of your fun comments on yesterday's video. And I am still making my way through the comments on the other videos I posted. I am doing these little daily videos and the comments take a little bit longer. So bear with me on that. I am trying to respond to everybody or give you a heart if I've read it and I might come back and respond to it later. Um, and so I think for the remainder of this week, I'm gonna continue to do the recorded videos and then possibly next week for my last couple of days, I might try lives again. We'll see. And then I'll have a mania recap at the end of the month. Um, an extra, extra last mania. And I have a thought about one other start I might squeeze in here at the end. We'll see. But anywho, I think that's gonna end this for me. So I will say, or sing, so long, stitch well, I'll see you soon my friends, goodbye. Goodbye.